So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get the blood sucking crack tier. One of the best new crack tiers you can apply to your wondrous physic in the entire game. What this does is I believe it gives you a 20% damage increase but at the same time also drains HP. This one you don't want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this crack tier, it takes a little bit of a, a little bit of work to get, nothing too major though, I won't lie to you. But what it does do is guys, it gives you like I said, increased attack damage, but at the detriment of your health slowly uh, coming down. Enhances attacks at the cost of HP in a mixed physic. As you can see my health, but what it does is it gives you a 20% damage increase as far as I'm aware. You can see my health now going down as soon as I drink it. So yeah, you need to keep on top of those, those uh, crimson tears when using this. So how do you get it? Well, first things first, guys, you need to be able to craft this item right here, which is a hefty furnace pot. Now to actually get the cookbook recipe to even craft this, guys, you need to come to this point on the map right here. So we're going to go to the three paths cross grace, just like so, just like so people. Uh, and right here, guys, you get the cookbook and you get two other important ingredients to craft this. So you want to come down to the uh, rundown traveler's rest, which is right there. So we're just going to mark that on the map and we're just going to go. Now you can't just run straight ahead. You actually have to go to the left slightly. You have to run around. This game isn't as simple as point and run in the same direction. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 from software, don't want to make things that easy for you. So yeah, you want to come around this corner, as you can see, just like so, and come down here. Just like so. Now, I've already been here. In fact, I don't even think you can jump down there. No, you can't. So go down slightly this way. Hi, that, that did not hurt my horse. My horse got some big old legs. So in here, guys, you'll find the cookbook, and you'll also find two of that certain ingredient that we need, which is the visage, which is... Yep, the furnace facade. There'll be two of these in this uh, little building too. So yeah, grab them all. We now, guys, have the cookbook. So you can now see for yourself what you need. We need the red flesh mushroom, the ember of mesmer, and we need also the hefty cracked pots, which I'll show you where you can get these too. Uh, but first things first, the red flesh mushroom. So the best place I've found to get these is if you come to the pillar path cross, where you first meet Fiola. Let's just go here. There's a few of these mushrooms in this area. And you can just reload the area, guys, and keep grabbing them. It really is that simple. So, as you can see right here, guys, jump on your horse. And if you come this way, you'll see them like little glowing red mushrooms. They're all, all over the place, to be honest. Actually, all over the, um, there's one right there. They're all over the Shadow Realm. But this is probably the easiest place to come and farm them. Like I said, there's a few up and around here. So, yeah, just keep rinsing and repeating the area, guys. If you run out of them, go back to the grace. Rinse, repeat, and you'll get them. Now, what about the Ember Mesmers? Because these are not, well, they're a little bit more difficult to actually come across. So, yeah, the Ember Mesmers. Well, I've, I've actually, guys, got an early game Infinite Family. So, come to the Castle Front Grace right here. And there's actually a tent nearby one of these spawns in indefinitely. So, just keep reloading the Grace and coming back, and it's there. So, from this Grace point, guys, turn back on yourself, head this way. Just like so. And right in here, guys, you'll see. Get off the horse. There's one right on the floor right there. And all you got to do, guys, is reload the grace, run back and keep grabbing it. Simple as that. So what about, guys, the big old uh, hefty crack pot? Well, I know of two locations you can get this from. The first one is located right near these Scorch Ruins. So right here on the map, guys. If you come to this place right here, you come back down here, guys, you'll see on the screen now where this is located. I actually got this real, real early game. It's right there. There's also one, guys, right by Bunny Village. So if you know where Bunny Village is, you know where Morph Ruins is, you go through here, guys, you'll end up at Bunny Village. Now you'll see on the screen now the location of where you can get this from, right there. Simple as that, guys. So you now have the entirety of the ingredients in regards to being able to craft that hefty furnace pot. So now we sit on these ingredients 
And now, guys, we make our way to the castle watering hole, Grace, which is right there. Because we need to get into here, basically. Well, we need to get to here, basically, not get in. But what we need to do, guys, if you don't know how to get to the castle watering hole, we need to make our way here. So from here, guys, you want to go to the grace of the main gate plaza. Upon you entering Shadow Keep and making your way up here, you will enter a boss fight with the Golden Hippo. Upon you taking out this boss, you get this main gate plaza grace. Just going to take a sip of my coffee, people. Okay, so from this grace, guys, we're going to go all the way around. We have to go through a secret area and so forth. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to pull out my horse. That's not going to work. So let's run this way, guys. So this is left of the grace as you spawn in. And let's follow this path all the way. And it ain't actually too far, to be honest with you. It's actually quite a short trek in regards to some of the treks we take in this game. So let's go past all these enemies. They will try and take you out. And again, in this room here, this room always gets me. So come in here, guys. Watch the bomb in front of you. Dodge that. Take a quick left. This table will protect, protect you a bit. And from here, guys, dodge again. Ah, uh, see, it always gets me. Always. <laughs> no. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> yeah, that always gets me. I'm useless at dodging things like that, especially from behind at close range. But yeah, come some slack. From here, guys, just run straight forward. What enemies are going to jump out on you? Nah, you two ain't quick enough, though. Oh, okay. I'll take it back. And then, guys, you want to run straight forward here. Dodging, weaving left and right, and there's going to be more enemies jumping out on you. And you want to come down this ladder right here. So I descend the ladder. So once you get down here, guys, you want to go in behind this waterfall. And then you want to go down again these ladders. Just like so. I don't try and drop down here because it ain't going to end well for your ankles. Uh-uh-uh. And when you're in here, guys, you want to go into this room where there's a painting in the far corner. And turn right, if you haven't been here already, there will be a wall here, which you need to hit. And it will reveal this path. And then, guys, you come down this way. And then, guys, you'll enter that very souls like coffin, which will teleport you to that castle watering hole. Let's just skip this. So, yeah, pretty cool. So many hidden things in this game. So, as you push forward here, guys, this is where the good stuff happens. When I say good stuff, this is where it kind of gets semi difficult. So, from this grace right here, guys. This is the Castle Warren Hall. So from here, and you'll see this on the screen now, this is something that I did um, about almost a week ago now. You'll come up here, guys, and you'll see there's a fire golem sitting up against this wall. When I say fire golem, it's just a golem because he's got no fire. What you need to do, guys, is respark his life. So you need to come around to the back of these ruins and to get up on top. And just do as I do on screen now, guys. And then jump up here. And follow this path around. Just like so. And end up in here, guys. Now, when you are up here, this is where you need to craft that hefty furnace pot. So crafting this, guys. And then you want to equip it. So make sure you put it into your equipment slots. Or your quick item slots. And then simply pull it out. Upon here, guys, you want to aim for his head and throw it. Upon you doing this, he will then wake up. Now, this is the difficult part. You now have to take him out. You have to fight him and take him out. Upon you fighting him and taking him out, guys, you then get the blood sucking crack tier. And it is, well, as simple as that. So, you want to add damage to your build? This is what you've got to do. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, add a ring. Be sure to subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.